Hello, I'm Dr. Krishna Chabra and welcome to An OK Rang. Today's topic is, how are you doing? But first, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all of you, the viewers, for a positive feedback and compliments on my segments. I truly feel honored and humbled. As I look back, it has been more than five years since my segments have been airing once a month on the Global Television Network, and within days of airing, I upload them on YouTube. Thanks to you, so far I have more than five dozen episodes, and they can be viewed on YouTube simply by typing in my name. People often ask me, what is the theme of my segments? Well, true to the name of the segment, Anokhe Rang, its topics are unique and do not have any specific theme. However, they do have a wide range containing humor, parody, knowledge, culture. They are in English as well as in Hindi with an objective to enrich your life by bringing a smile on your face, making you think, and providing you with practical tips for a better life. Now, getting back to today's topic. When we meet someone, the first question we generally ask is, how are you doing? If I were to ask you, how are you doing? I do not know what your answer would be, but some of the common answers include the following. Not too bad. Same old, same old. Okay, I guess. Can't complain. It's still too early to tell. I haven't had my cup of coffee yet. Well, Zig Ziglar, the famous motivational speaker, has this to say. When someone asks you, how are you doing? You're supposed to look that person in the eyes and say, excellent and getting better, and then just shut up. You may look like an idiot, but that's okay. You will get used to it. Remember the saying, fake it until you make it? His message, start to act, and soon you will start to feel the way you act. It's a simple and yet a very powerful message. I remember many years ago, in my professional career, when I responded as excellent and getting better for the first time in a team meeting, everyone looked at me as if I were from another planet. But slowly, not only they got used to it, but also started responding in the same manner. It brought smile on people's faces and they felt relaxed. One day, we were having some major issues with our project. One of my colleagues, knowing that things are not going well, came up to me and asked, so, how are you doing today? I looked him in the eyes and said, excellent and getting better. He smiled and got the message. In social gatherings, I have found that this response to be a good icebreaker. It relaxes the atmosphere and makes the conversation enjoyable. It sure would be nice to extend this feeling of excellent and getting better throughout the day. Well, here are some tips to stay upbeat and keep the momentum going. Mahatma Gandhi has a powerful message. Think positive because your thoughts become words, your words become actions, and your actions become habits. The power of thoughts is truly awesome. Change your vocabulary. By that I mean replace the negatives with the positive. For example, rather than saying, I'm afraid this will not work, say, I know this will work. I saw a big sign on the back of a van about a Weight Watchers group. The sign read, I can, I will, end of the story. Beautifully said. Self-talk and visualization are also very powerful tools. Those preparing for Olympics are known to use visualization as a part of their training. In their mind, they visualize and repeatedly practice the event as if it were happening in the Olympics. Self-talk reinforces the positive and boosts the momentum during the day. In life, we cannot control what happens to us, but we do have a choice how we react. Every day, at every step, we make choices. We can and we must make positive choices that take us towards a happier and better life. The key is practice and perseverance. Slowly and surely, you will be amazed that with the power of positivity, positive thoughts, positive attitudes, and positive actions, the feeling of excellent and getting better will become a habit and make your days brighter. So now, 
if I were to ask you again, how are you doing? I believe that your answer will be better than what it would have been at the beginning of the segment. Please join me again next month for another segment of Anokhe Rang. Namaskar.